God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. Welcome back to our second week of our revamped Marian Saturdays. I'm Lauren, and I'm so glad you're here with us. For those of you who weren't with us last week, we are currently breaking open the Hail Mary line by line and reflecting on one line each week. Our revamped podcast episode also has a couple of new responses, so if you'd like to see those and follow along, please check out the notes section of the podcast. This week, we are going to be hearing from Father Ron as he unpacks the second line of the Hail Mary prayer. Teach us love. Blessed are you among women. How many times have we said those words? <laughs> thousands and thousands of times? And maybe not even thinking about what we're saying. But the words themselves, they come from the familiar passage in Luke. When Mary goes to Elizabeth, uh, who is pregnant with John the Baptist, and upon entering the house, Elizabeth greets Mary with those words, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. Up to this generation, we still call Mary blessed. Blessed are you. But why? The fact that Mary is blessed doesn't mean that she is set apart from us. She is blessed because God has chosen her to lead the way for us to her and her son Jesus where we are meant to go. Mary shares in the glory of the resurrection body and soul because that's also where we are going. And Mary gets to show us the way. She is blessed because she gets to be our guide, <laughs> which makes us blessed indeed. <laughs> and who best to be our guide than a woman, a, a mother, a human being who's been through many of the same struggles that you've been through and maybe going through now? When Mary prays the Magnificat and she extols all the great things God has done, it's lovely. She says, he has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm, scattered the proud in their conceit, lifted up the lowly. She's not just talking about some things that God has done in the past. She's talking about her own experience. You know, Mary lived it. She says, For the Almighty has done great things for me, despite her struggles. You know, she was an unwed teenage mother, a pregnant teenager. She went through a difficult birth under very difficult circumstances. 
subjected to an oppressive regime that demanded they travel to some little town and go through a census. And then she had to escape a massacre of children with her husband and her own child and live as a well, a refugee in a foreign country. She survived the death of her husband probably while she was still young. And then she lived through the unjust treatment of her son, his unjust arrest, his trial, and then his brutal death. She survived all of that. If any of you, friends, are going through anything remotely close to any of these situations, go to Mary, because she knows what it's like. If you're feeling alone or, or feeling abandoned, you're feeling persecuted or, or lost, if you're feeling imprisoned, go to Mary because she is your mother too. Your tender mother who knows what you're going through and who wants nothing more than to bring you to her son, Jesus. If you want to go to Jesus, go through Mary, because the quickest way to get to him is through his mother who wants nothing more than to guide and bring you there. And it is as simple, all of that, as just starting and praying those words that we say all the time, maybe not even thinking about it. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Let us glorify our Savior, who chose the Virgin Mary for his mother. Confident that he will hear us, we ask. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Eternal Word, you taught your mother Mary to choose the path that was best. Let us follow her example and hunger for the food of everlasting life. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Christ, our Redeemer, you made the Virgin Mary the sanctuary of your presence and the temple of the Spirit. Make us bearers of your Spirit in mind, heart, and body. May your mother intercede for us, Lord. Calling to mind all of our intentions, together we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Forgive the sins of your people, Lord, and as nothing we can do is worthy in your sight, save us through the intercession of the Mother of our Lord Jesus Christ. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. O Virgin Mary, there has not risen in the world among women one similar to thee, blooming as the rose, fragrant as the lily. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. O sacred virgin, hear the song of my praise. We beseech thee, O Lord, that the heavenly intercession of the ever-glorious and blessed Virgin Mary may protect us and conduct us to eternal life through Christ our Lord. 
Amen. May Almighty God watch over and protect us in blessing this day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. It is such a pleasure praying with you all. We hope you'll join us again tomorrow for Breaking Open the Word. Have a blessed weekend, everybody.